Hey everyone, how are you? My name is Alex and welcome back to Monday Modded Reviews. Today, we are reviewing the Colorful Llamas mod. I think you guys are going to enjoy this a lot and don't forget to check the description for the download link. In any case, so uh, why don't we jump into it? Here I have regular llamas in all the dyeable colors in the game. You can dye them the same way you dye sheep by right clicking on them. Now you can also equip a saddle to your llama and you can ride your llama around just like you do a horse or a camel. And I could go back and forth in this pen and I won't create a caravan either. The whole point of dyeing these llamas is so that you can shear them and watch what happens here when I shear him. They, um, they, they get very interesting looking and you also can now farm llamas for food. So sorry, buddy, but I have to show everyone what you can do. So now they drop llama steak. This is my survival world after all, and I do need the colorful wools. So I'm going to go around and shear everybody also so that you guys can see that no matter what color each llama is, they all get sheared the same way. And not to make some kind of political statement with llamas, but that really is how it works here. So let's see, did I get everybody? Oh, I forgot a couple. Uh, anyway, so this is basically uh, what they look like. So now they're just all colorful by their carpets. The llamas yield one to three wool blocks, which is also great because it's the same as sheep. So when you combine this with sheep, you're getting a little bit more wool, but it is most definitely not overpowered. Fun fact, you can click on a llama to equip the saddle. You do not have to open the inventory and then drag the saddle into the saddle slot in order to equip it. I think that's a really cool design and it's definitely a, it's a good time saver. So you might see something cool in about a second here. So yeah, see the llamas, they just regrow their wool. They don't have to eat grass to do that. Also, you can die regular llamas, but you cannot die trader llamas. As a matter of fact, let me check and see what this guy... <gasps> I need I need the small drip leaf. I need that a lot. By the way, this is my survival series, and this is still an episode of the series, even though we're doing a mod review. And if I want to get small drip leaf that I've been waiting for this guy to show up with forever, I can do that. There is a glitch, though, that if you are not standing directly next to the llamas, for some reason, they will disappear. I'm not entirely sure why that glitch exists in this mod. It could be shader or texture pack related. It could just be a glitch because llamas aren't dyeable in the vanilla gameplay. But in any case, it's a glitch, and they're not despawning, you just can't see them. It is what it is. In any case, I'm going around right now shearing all of the llamas and I'm going to also shear all of the sheep so that we can see just how many wool we get when we shear both llamas and sheep together. So I went around and I sheared all the sheep as well and I'm not going to show you every single sheep but what I do want to say is that this does use up your shears durability the same as if you were shearing two sheep and you're not getting extra wool. So it's pretty much like just having double sheep, or in this case, double llamas. There is a lot of brown wool. Otherwise, the loot tables are very well balanced. Just for humor's sake, I went around and gave the llamas color-coordinated names. Red Rover. Orange Juice. Sunshine Yellow. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh god. I don't want to name the wrong llama. Oh, ever- get out of the way, you're not Cactus Green. You're Stormy Gray, move. Cactus Green! Uh, Key Lime Pie. Cyan Pepper, because I couldn't think of anything else. Uh, Sky Blue. Royal blue. Oh wait, you're magenta. Hang on. Uh, pretty and purple. Come here. Cotton candy pink. 
coffee brown, cloudy gray, stormy gray, off-white, midnight black. That pretty much does it for the Colorful Llamas mod. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did enjoy making a video about this mod. I think it's absolutely adorable. I love Vanilla Plus mods right now, especially ones like these that are just so adorably creative and useful at the same time. So in any case, um, don't forget to check the description for the download link to the mod. And also don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like if you want to see more. And as always, I will see you guys next time.